You guys see this good looking young man? You recognize this company behind me? I bet you do because I work with Edge Technologies a lot. In fact, we were just at Roush Yates down in Carolina talking about the exceptional support and service that this bar feed company has given them. And I get to be down in Mexico today for Mexico's great uh, exhibition called Expo Manufacturer and I'm with Abraham. Abraham, I've been with you guys for a long time, yes. talking about bar feed a long time. The yes patented technology that you guys have implemented, the strategies of being able to do so much more with this type of bar feed technology. But here in Mexico, it's not just about the technology, it's about the service and support as well, isn't it? Correct, Tony. Um, always a pleasure to see you here. Um, yes, you said it. We're very committed for having service, parts, and sales here in Mexico. We've been the last almost eight years working with our dealer network through the whole country and Central and South America. But talking specifically about Mexico, we've been helping all of our dealer network get these bar feeders on the floor, doing production for our customers and end users. And through service network based in Querétaro and Monterrey, which is North Mexico and Central South, we've been doing that lately. This idea or this concept is unique in Mexico in the bar feed world. Are you the only ones that are servicing in this way? Well, we were the first ones, I can okay, tell you that. Okay, I like that, the first ones. <laughs> we were the first ones and then, you know, our staff has been the same, which is good. You know, we haven't um, had a changeover of, of staff and that gives us the experience of having the same brand and you know, having the evolution of the products for the last eight years. Uh, we've been implementing uh, retrofits on all of our feeders. We've been installing uh, all kinds of uh, feeding to all different kinds of lathes, specifically on the Swiss type of lathes, but we've been doing the whole nine yards. You know, I have noticed you uh, on my LinkedIn for a long time now being with Edge. So you're right, being the first and being able to stabilize yourself in this industry is so very important. Yes. For those out here, since we have the platform with MTDC and C yes. to reach thousands of people here in Mexico and obviously around the world as well, let's just talk a little bit about bar feed technology as a general overview. Because there are still in Mexico people who want to manually whip their hands, yes. load and unload a machine instead yes. of utilizing a bar feed or utilizing some other form of automation. Correct. What does the bar feed side of things bring to the automation world? Because my understanding is it is the simplest, most cost effective way to implement automation and run through the night. Yes, it's not about, it's not about the money always, you know, uh, as an investment, as a capital equipment investment. Um, it's, all, it's about safety, you said it. Uh, machine tool operators here in Mexico, um, in difference from other parts of the world, uh, it's, all, 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 um, it's also ruled by women so there's a lot of women machine tool operators highly trained to uh, you know run the lathes on production floors so for them physically it's becomes a challenge to load you know a slug load or, or a, a half of one meter and a half bar it's kind of heavy so what we do with our equipment is to take care of the safety of, of them and be more productive you get uh, less remnant uh, you get better production times, better feeding times. So we've been trying to educate the end users mostly that it's not about a huge investment, it's about them being more productive and uh, having their um, machine tool operators you know, without higher safety levels. In fact, uh, as a quick story, we, we, uh, we had an end user that got a uh, contract with uh, a Japanese uh, automotive manufacturer and he got uh, this request that to get the contract he needed a bar feeder so he was in the need of getting a bar feeder just to get the contract that tells you about the importance of having this kind of units on the shop it absolutely does and a couple of things I picked up that you just said Abraham I want to look at the audience when I say this first off to all you women out there thank you for being in our industry we want more of you and the second thing I want to say that Abraham brought up is the safety aspect of things when it comes to the automation. 
I know a lot of you women out there are always stronger, already stronger than me, so this is for me as well, this safety aspect. My colleague Megan Zimba out there, I know she's going to the gym and working out more than I am, and we appreciate you, Megan. We appreciate all the women out there. Abraham, thank you for speaking your second or third language with me because my English is bad, my Spanish is <laughs> exceptionally malo, <laughs> and we are here today talking bar feed, so I appreciate you so much for doing that. Tony, uh, thanks again. And uh, just for our audience and our customers out there, this is our fifth edition uh, exhibiting at this Expo Manufactura. And right now, there's over 100 companies exhibiting, and we are the only bar feeder company showing products, being here for the, our customers, being here for our dealers. And that speaks good about Edge Technologies. So we're, we're the guys to go for, that's it. <laughs> and if we had our microphones right now, we dropped them based right. on what was just said. <laughs> Mic drop, all right. Nicely done, sir. <laughs>